This screencast is looking at the features of a synovial joint. So firstly, a synovial joint is a freely movable joint. So unlike our cartilaginous or fibrous joint, fibrous joint offering no movement, a cartilaginous joint offering some very small amount of movement, synovial joints are freely movable. What we will be looking at are the articular cartilage, also read somewhere as haline cartilage, our synovial membrane, synovial fluid, which lives inside the synovial cavity or joint cavity, so it's hard to draw the fluid as such. Our bursae, which is not shown in this diagram, it's the same diagram as the book, but in the diagram below this we will go over that one. The same with respect to the meniscus, it's not shown in this diagram, the one below it, it is. Our ligaments and our articular capsule. So the articular capsule is made up of the synovial membrane and also our fibrous capsule. So looking down on this slightly more detailed version, just going through them, our bursa, so we've got a number of them here, they're these areas here, they add to aid cushioning. So here we've got a bursa in between the anterior aspect of the patella and the skin, so allows softening. Here we have a bursa that sits in between the tibia, which is this bit here, and our patella tendon. Here we have a bursa again that sits in between the tendon um, coming from our quadriceps and our femur. So they help with shock absorption, they reduce friction. So they're our bursa. I'll just remove those from there. The next thing that we'll look at are our ligaments. So here is our posterior cruciate ligament that runs and it would continue to run that way and we have our anterior cruciate ligament. Ligaments hold bone to bone so increase joint stability they keep the bones um, within reach of each other limit the amount of movement. I'll just remove our ligaments from there Articular cartilage. Each bone has articular cartilage at the end of it. When these articular cartilage come in contact uh, during movement with other objects, they uh, secrete a small amount of fluid to aid with movement, decreasing friction. They're also used to absorb shock as well. And it's during the deterioration of this articular cartilage that would lead to osteoarthritis. So that's our articular cartilage. Our meniscus, which wasn't shown in the one above. So here's one. There's the other sitting in our knee. Again, um, wedge shapes, they help with shock absor absorption, for example, when you're jumping so that the knee, the femur and the tibia don't jar against each other, um, helps soften the blow. So meniscus help with shock absorption. I'll just remove those. Our synovial membrane runs around the inside of our 
synovial joint. So it would come up in around here. The synovial membrane helps produce synovial fluid that would then fill the cavity itself. It would also come up through here. And the articular capsule, as we could see in the earlier slide, is made up of a fibrous um, cavity as well as the synovial membrane. And that fibrous cavity would sit on the outside of the synovial membrane. to help keep the fluid, etc., within the joint. So that's our articular capsule and our synovial membrane. The synovial, synovial cavity is that area shaded in green that sits within the synovial membrane, and it's that that contains the synovial fluid. The synovial fluid is, for example, like oil within an engine. It helps lubrication, helps movement to occur freely, uh, and decreases friction.